sunny and mildly breezy Round Rock, Texas. I'm Liz Barcelos. And I'm Justin Bogart. And this is Boston Pandas on the left in white and Lost Boys Quidditch Club in black on the actual right because the pandas are on the left. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so the Lost Boys are in black, which are their traditional colors, but not so good in the Texas heat today. No, well, no, that's a different team. Yes. <laughs> All right. And All right. Um, little for a there, but eventually um, Boston with Bledger supremacy. Dodgeball, dodgeball. They're called dodgeballs, dodgeballs now. Are right, yes. You can tell that I'm an old that's playing in the alumni game tomorrow because I'm still trying to get used to the ball games. Um, so, just so you know, I played three years for the Lost what? Boys, so I may be a little biased in that regard, but the Boston Black Pandas do have a lot of Middlebury players here. Um, and Middlebury holds a... So Middlebury holds a special place in my heart, especially Ian Skura, the pride of the, Middlebury. The, the resurrector of that story program. He passes it off to number 10. Uh, and then Frollo, who's trying to find something in the back, doesn't really work. It's going to be Lost Boys. Uh, volleyball? Quad ball. Another stoppage. Yes, I call it the quad ball. I think volleyball works as well. Yeah. I just want to get that nomenclature down. All right, bringing it up is Steve DiCarlo, often confused for Vincent Woolsey. In fact, I might be doing it now. No, I'm not. No, that is me. definitely DiCarlo. Uh, Woolsey is in the green headband as the keeper. They're both on the pitch right now, though. So. Boston boys bringing it up slow, trying to read this uh, Boston defense. Boston boys are looking for passing it off to Woolsey. Ten, dribble, Cranker exchanges eight, some Bledger, seven, dodgeballs, covered by four, three, number two, two on Boston, five, Tyler Beckman, three. who immediately turns it around and is driving back, looking, looking, dodges a dodgeball, is brought down by Wool, um, DiCarlo, but Boston is still trying to make something happen, not hearing a whistle though. So Lost Boys uh, killed the penalty time there, so that was really good for them. I waited to make that call before because uh, it looked like the Boston Pandas were about to score. But we nearly made something happen there. We'll see if I can even up again for the Lost Boys. Yeah. Boston playing a pretty conservative defense, having everybody back like that. Nice hop, but Peter makes the beat anyway. Driving from. Ooh! And makes the shot. Lost Boys up 10 0. So, yeah, sorry. I was going to say the Lost Boys won their two previous games. Um, I'm not sure what, what Boston uh, Black Pandas. Boston did beat the Vipers earlier today, okay. I believe. I'm not sure about the rest of their games. Anyway, number 22, that's Athena Mayer. Passes it off to number two, Tyler Beckman, looking for an opening. Drive here from I'll oh, miss. And it's recovered once again by the lost boy from Simpson gets it to her keeper Woolsey. Alrighty. So the black the boss and black pandas have control of the dodgeballs, but now all of them are on the ground. Oh, oh. Which opens up Another a pass to Lindsay. Oh, that's a head oh, beat. And they called it. So um, you're not allowed to throw the dodgeball at another player's yeah, head. So. Apologetic immediately. Walking. Player immediately going to the box. They know what they did. It happens. Yeah. You're a beater. You're just like, I gotta get him. I gotta get him. And then sometimes you get him at the wrong time. I've definitely been inadvertently hit in the head with a dodgeball. In my time as. Anyway, bringing it up now is your hero Ian Skura for the Black Pandas. Um, Mullins careful, 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 care
giving Ian a little more space to play, but Krieger with the aggressive beater play, I love to see it. Anyway, and there's a opportunity, and Boston is on the board. We're tied at 10. I'm sorry, no, 2010 uh, Lost Boys to Lost. Tyler Beckman with the cheers from the crowd. Lost Boys probing this uh, Panda defense. DiCarlo, definitely the Wiley veteran here trying to find something. Drives, drives, drives. Oh, he's being removed. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh, one. Timing the box is now up. So now at even strength, both teams. Yes. Lost Boys weren't able to score on the power play. I was going to say, both teams have effectively killed the penalty time yeah. that they've served. Both teams are playing like kind of a zone where they're just putting oh. players by the hoops. Yeah. And then just probing for openings. I agree, yeah. Skura again with the quad ball. So the Black Pandas have used their reset. Yeah. That's Emily they... Frollo now with the quad. Oh, just a little bit outside, and that's going to go off pitch and be a Lost Boys quad ball. But there's oh, a bludger. Wow, I'm sorry. Nice. Dodgeball exchange is oh. happening. Great catch by Tess Mullins. Yeah, but like, the that's the got them control. That's the Krieger intensity I know and love though. But now um, Krieger subs out for Lane Nowak, and also coming in to be is Max Portillo, Bowling Green alumnus. Yes, um, very intense player. I love Rarely him. see um, him What's smiling. But he is very sweet, but very intense. Wants to perform for uh, his team out Love there. And anyway, that's another Lost Boys goal. This one from Vincent Woolsey. All right, we have a Oddball keeper deep sub. in Lost Boys territory. Launched back by the head referee. And that's going to be number five, Stephen Tremple with the quad ball. Emily Frollo now with the quad ball, back to Trample. I believe that's number 22, Athena Ooh. Mayer. Oh, and it's good. Lost Boys made a few more substitutions as well. I see Kim Chang in, sneaking around in the back as is her stealthy little pitch ball, but she is beat out, nice. Oh. Oh, that oh, is. Oh, no. No Pandas, dodgeball opportunity no, here. Exactly. There's we drive pass off to Skura, and it's good. All right. If someone is going to score on Boston. Uh, oh, on the Lost Boys, you mean? Yeah, but. A Boston. Uh, Ian Skura uh, yes. scored. On your boys. I'm, yes. I'm proud of that. You are. All right. So Chris Cito now with the quad ball. Rolls it over to Simpson. He gets it back to Cito. Go, go, go. Launches it cross pitch to. Lost is being very aggressive. Yeah. With their this game has right just completely changed the energy of it. It was very like tentative and like feeling oh, each other we, out. Oh, we, uh, we had a turnover. Quad ball turnover. So Boston's going to get this uh, quad ball. Oh man, and there's. Where there's only two. Or one Two? person is knocked out, so only Lindsay really. Uh, Lindsay's made some hero saves before. This draw, potential drive here. Um, Skura's going to look to run up on the wing mm. for a potential pass option. Yeah. All right. Oh, off the oh rim. yeah, that's going to be a pound oh. There it is. Textbook. Okay, that was number 10 on Boston who scored Emily Frollo. Emily Frollo. All right, Lost Boys making some more substitutions. Getting some fresh legs on the pitch. So. 
Got some Lost Boys cheers happening. Lost Boys have been playing a long string without dodgeball control, but yeah. it's hard to go up against the uh, Boston beaters. They have a very strong beater core here. Yeah, and we have some Team USA and Team Canada talent in their beater core, so unsurprising. Oh! Lost oh, Boys lots of beater action happening. Control. All right. So let's see if they can capitalize oh, on the yeah. dodgeball. Not the best move by Cito over there, um, but you're right. They do have dodgeball control now, and they very much needed that. All right, that is Stephen Tremple launching it back, and that is going to be a Lost Boys quad ball. Yeah, Cito has it for them now. Uh, Boston headed back to set up their defense. All right, so let's see what the Lost Boys can do on with, offense with control. Yeah. That was a great beat, though. Yes. Oh. oh, that was high. Even if Simpson gets it, she's going to be under a lot of pressure. Oh, but she shrugs it off. Advantage. Love that. All right, that's number 44 for the Lost Boys, Burroughs Balka. All right. We have a good goal, sounds like, right, and then so immediate stop. Delayed call, but because the yeah. foul was on the Boston Pandas yeah. and the Lost Boys had yeah. possession, yes, uh, it's advantage. So you let it play out, um, and so they scored. Yeah. So because of the goal, um, that's considered time served. So there will be no Boston players in the box for this. Even here, I think. Yeah, no, this is a tight game. Like, what what a treat for you all watching at home. I know I'd be stoked if I was back home watching it on my TV. The Boston, this core of Boston players and the Lost Boys have had historical matchups. Oh, yeah. At nationals in the past. And, like, we can even go back to, like, Emerson for, like, how long some of these people have played with and against each other. Boston passing a little bit back and forth, but we have a bit of a shove pass to the back to Sierra Delk, who goes for a shot. Ooh, that was nearly an own goal. That would have been not fun. And no, okay, Cito finally gets control for the Lost Boys. All right, so the missed, the missed uh, beat there where the dodgeball went. All right. We have some subs happening. Michael Richardson coming on for the Lost Boys, as well as uh, Quincy Hildreth. A big pickup for the yes. Lost Boys, gotta say. Quincy is a very good quad ball player. <laughs> Understatement. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Simpson with the quad ball passes it off to Hildreth, deep in the back, and that's uh, Shay Hillinger. No, no that's it's not. Richardson. That's Richardson with the goal. Wouldn't want to misattribute that beautiful goal. This is the kind of game I fly halfway across the country for. I'm serious. Um, I love quad ball. We you know. You may have heard this is my Yeah, you're not going to duck those life. accusations. That's uh, for sure. Ten minutes! If, if Corny is listening to this, uh, <laughs> she knows I love quad ball. You do. Oh. Anyway, oh, that's a little high on that shot, but it is recovered right before it crosses midline. Very nice. That was number 74, Abraham Benningson. Speaking of Middlebury players. Ah, see, you gotta, you gotta keep me up on that one. Um, another pass slash shot to the back, doesn't really work out. Um, Frollo trying to, Frollo with a great oh. box out of Quincy Hildreth actually, but that's gonna be a Lost Boys quad ball. The Lost Boys have been able to hold. Yeah. Uh, the Lost Boys have been able to hold on to this dodgeball control for a long um, portion of this game now. But uh, now Boston has uh, Max Havlin in, uh, who you've probably heard of before. Um, also, Lulu Chu is also in there, too. So. Yep. And immediately... But Boston now got control Ooh. back. Okay. We sort of have a midline going now. With Skura back in. Alright, which is 
Quad ball, quad ball. Quad ball? Is that still bending same? Not anymore. Skura. Skura. Skura can shoot. Oh, Hi. try to. There have been a couple of those for Boston, unfortunately. It is windy out. Yeah, no, that cannot be underestimated. All Ooh, right. Fat. Running up with the quad ball now is Richardson. And Richardson's fast. Gets it to Hildred, who is ready for him, wide open. A oh, good dunk. pass there. Like Long, I, think. I think you're right. Beautiful finish, beautiful placement. No yes, be, no I was going to say. Great positioning there. Oh. You don't have to get ready if you stay ready. Ooh, the Lost Boys were able to get dodgeball control back, which is hard to do against them. Oh, the, beats out two, oh, and then great the keeper doesn't quite get them. Ooh. But, oh, oh, oh okay. We're going to have a scrum. Ooh. Ooh, that was a little push. That was a push on a, little a shubby shove. chaser without a quad ball. Interesting. Uh, you know what? I'm not a coach. You hold the rules. Let, so. let the players play, I that's guess. Right, that's right. Oh. 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 Beautiful. He was running up, Rex. Yeah, so that was good to give uh, your claw ball carrier an option for right. a pass. We so. have a timeout, sounds like, on Boston's part. I think that was a good uh, timeout here. Yeah. Lost Boys seemed like they were getting the momentum, a couple of fast breaks down the down the pitch there, so yeah. they just want to slow up the game, discuss. Yeah. Because like Richard has been bam, bam, bam. Can we get a confirmation? Uh, I, I didn't realize it was a Six to four. All so right. 60 40, 70. 70 40. Ah, such a fun game. So, what do you think, uh, Liz, that the Boston Pandas are discussing right now in their They got to slow down the Lost Boys. When they were playing the game earlier, very like tentative, feeling each other out, it was closer. But as the game has sped up, that's been to the Lost Boys' advantage. And so, if I'm Boston, I'm trying to figure out either how to like counter that or bring the game back to what well, was a better game for them. But it's been a hot minute since I've coached, so you know, that's just my take. What about you, Bogey? What would you be telling Boston or the Lost Boys right now? Well, I'm thinking that uh, Boston would really like to get the dodgeball control back. I think both teams have had runs when their beaters have had both of the dodgeballs. It's very, and, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> having, having both dodgeballs is, uh, is, a, is easier than having only one. But um, so I think the strategy here is going to be trying to get that dodgeball control back and then figuring out what to do with both of them. That's true. All right, so it seems like teams are coming out of their huddles now. We have a uh, let Jake chase chant going on. I, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but Jake is always wearing a black headband that says chaser on it, which is as close as he's ever going to get to chasing, I think. Yes, I think if he wants to be chaser, he'll have to somehow become the captain of the Lost Boys. You know, wish him well in there. All right, so again, Lost Boys with the zone defense where they put one player on each of the hoops. That seems like to being a favorite in this tournament this year. I'm kind of surprised the meta's returned to that, but the game is constantly changing. All right, that's Skura over. Ooh! Oh! oh nice big save from Hildreth. Oh, and we have another fast break. Takes off. Oh! oh what a beat by Max Havlin. <laughs> That one. Can't get past Max. No. All right. And that is a score from Tyler Beckman. Nice. I'm being told that the name is Max. What? The Javelin Havlin. Loving that. Loving that contribution from Chris LeConte. 
All right, that is a good goal. Yeah, that's what we call a snipe beat there by Max Alvin. I'd say one of his signature moves. It is a thing I've seen. Yeah. All right, and we're off. That, uh, that dodgeball gets you very quickly when uh, Max Alvin throws it. I've, I know personally firsthand. Yes. All right, that is Simpson now passing it back to Richardson, Ooh. back to Hildreth. Oh, oh that's reset. You got to get it before it goes past the keeper zone. Oh, uh, keeper line. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate play there by the Lost Boys. So for those watching who don't know the recent rule books, now if the quad ball goes past the keeper zone, it is a second reset and turnover to the other team. Yeah. Right there. Beckman with a pretty little dunk, and now it sounds like. Oh. oh. Jersey pull? Oh, okay. Launching. That's Emma Danneker, but time serves because uh, Pam has scored. Bet couldn't really do anything in that situation. One on one, it's tough to stop the drive. All right, Hildreth with the quad ball. Lost boys making some subs. Richardson coming out. I think that's that's all Danneker. Oh, that was a slow It is Danneker. Oh, come on, Woolsey. All right, so Boston picks it up. Quick shot. That was a very quick shot there. Just trying to make something happen quickly with the Lost Boys kind of all over the place there. The Boston Pandas players are talking to each other, saying, you know, it was a misconnection there, so they're, yeah. Tom, who's that number 14 guy? Never heard of him. He's pretty good, you should probably want to keep him around. Give him more minutes. Nice, watch him. <laughs> the, what about number 15? Time? 14. 14.30. 14 minutes of game time. We play until 20 minutes for this uh, seeker floor. Nice reads there by Krieger. All right. Boys will get control back if Malloy can hurry up. Oh! oh a, a dodgeball's on the ground, yeah. That was a missed opportunity there. Yeah. Lost Boys were driving on no dodgeball. Boston didn't have a dodgeball in their possession there, but the pass oh, was behind the Lost Boys wing. So, turnover there. So the dodgeball went way off pitch here, so that's what the stoppage is for. Just trying to get the dodgeball back. Alright, bringing it up now is uh, Delk. She passes it off to Beckman. Beckman back to Delk. And that's over to uh, Emily Collins. Not an Back to Delk. Lots of passes here from. They're, they're just trying to pass around the perimeter here, yeah. trying to open up the zone. Oh, uh, too high. That's going to go off pitch and be a lost boys ball. Incidental contact between the keeper of Boston yeah, and the beater for the Lost Boys. Mm -hmm. So, but Jake Malloy, a silly goose. no call here for that incidental contact. Well, and also, then I have to. There's going to be a sub here for the Boston keeper. It was 14 minutes recently. Now it's 15. We have a lot of line change happening here. It is 50! 
Ooh, aggressive uh, defense from Skura there. Yes. 16. <laughs> I heard there's uh, some trading cards that reference that. Yeah, so there's... Ooh, that's a reset. Yep, that was a reset. So one... Oh, no dodgeballs. What can they do with this? Skura yeah. drives. Oh! Long arm from Woolsey. Yeah, so there's uh, trading cards for the Lost Boys here where it has a picture of Steve DiCarlo, but the name is Vincent Woolsey. And then the other card has a picture of Vincent, but it says Steve DiCarlo on the card. Oh, Ooh, great rap from Shay. Shay is keeper. I don't think I've seen that very often. Was launches it. Oh, that's gonna go. That's number twenty-two. Oh, fast break here. Doric. Oh, good pass. Good pass back. That was great. That was great ball movement from Boston. So nice. Yeah. Keep that ball going back and forth because Peter can only get one of you. Seventeen thirty. Yeah, that was great ball movement. Can't really stop. Great, good ball movement. Possibly. I, again, they need control back. Oh! Yeah, the dodgeballs were focused on like the passes there, which opened up Woolsey for the drive. He's like, I can score, I can fast break. Yep. Going, going. Oh! Look at the hoops! Big, big stuff. Woo! All right. get a little closer to the mic. Oh, okay. I'm very close to the mic now. <laughs> I mean, anyway. Because uh, <laughs> I watched two of your games. Oh, Pillinger launches it back to Tyler Ortiz. Yeah, Tyler Ortiz. All right. And he's making his presence yep. known. That's an Ortiz goal. Gambit's throwback. Um, oh, a couple of the Gambits have thrown back to the Lost Boys. That was a good rivalry in Los Angeles. I like that. Yeah, so All right, quad ball is kind of contested right now, but eventually maybe somebody will get it there. Oh. That's number 74. That's a game. Yeah. I'm getting there. Give me a second. Oh. 19 minutes! All right, we are one minute away. Ooh, that. 19! The mid stoppage point. There's a, there's a term for that. Anyway, things getting spicy as we approach the first intermission. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. The wind is picking up now, so we say short passes when it's windy. Who do you think that favors? Not sure. I know that pandas are shorter. <laughs> All right, pass to Cito behind the hoops. Cito's gonna, we, we expect a no-look pass from Cito. That's his signature move. He does love that, but he might be going to the side here because I don't see a lot of openings for him. Oh! oh! But the hoop oh. fell over. That's oh, so unfortunate. Uh, saying, but then there's a big pile. It's 19 
All right, so we have a ref discussion here, possibly because the hoop moved at an inopportune moment for the Lost Boys there. It's almost up to the 20 minute mark. I think we have the 10 second countdown about to start, if not having started already. So at 20 minutes, the team who has possession of the quad ball just gets that one last possession. And then once that ends, we stop play, have an intermission, and then the flag runner will come onto the pitch. So set score works by you take the winning team's score at the 20 minute mark, the, the leading team's score at the uh, 20 minute mark, and you add 60 points, so that's six goals. Uh, the flag runner counts for 35 points, so that's equivalent to three of those goals. Uh, the team that reaches that set score first would then win the match. Contact from behind. Is that his second? That's my second. Yes, yes. That is the second yellow for Chichu, uh, Chicho. Yes, the first one was that head beat, if we Very recall. early in the game, yes. He slipped out of the hands and unfortunately hit the Lost Boys player in the head. Now it was for contact from behind. So play restarts. So, so Boston's going to want to look for their high percentage, 100% opportunity to score because they aren't worried about the Lost Boys picking up the ball. And Mayer, that's been a winning combination so far. Havlin scoping out his former Team USA teammate, Chris Cito. <laughs> Mayer, fake, pump. Oh, and that's See? Lost Boys recovery. All right, so we're at the 20 minute intermission here. Yeah. Score reminder, please. 10-7. All right. So the Lost Boys have 100. The Boston Black Pandas have 70. So this means that the set score is going to be 160. What a fun game. So first team to get to 160 will win this match. Still anybody's game. There's been swings. That is exactly what the Boston Pandas are saying in their huddle. <laughs> If it's spoken loud enough for the announcers to hear, then uh, it's not secret. <laughs> so I think, yes, that's uh, Tyler Beckman, I think, uh, trying to uh, uh, tell his team that there's a lot of game left. So just being down 30 at the 20 minute mark, they don't seem too worried about that. They're going to play their game. Uh, if you know the flag runner's worth uh, 35 points, so that would bring the game neck and neck if uh, Boston catches. So. teams are probably going to be like let's play our game yeah we we know how to deal with these close flag runner on pitch situations mm -hmm. let's make sure we either get or keep dodgeball control because that's very key uh, in this situation because you want to make sure that you your seeker has time with the flag runner since a 35 point swing is uh, a momentum killer is that high or? That's high. Okay. Okay. I've never heard that before in my life. <laughs> Me being said I'm not loud enough? Never heard that. Anyway, for 
our seekers, we have Burroughs Bauka for the Lost Boys and Tyler Beckman for uh, Pandas. So Burroughs. Beckman has been such a big player on quad ball that you can definitely tell that like that flag runner is a priority. They're willing to take him off. Yes, and Jeremy uh, Burroughs Balka is a new pickup for the Lost Boys. I believe I was told used to play in Canada. Yes. <laughs> Good point there. Uh, As Casino drives, oh, 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 two, one. Seekers release. All right, and Seekers are out. Havlin immediately. Oh, no, you're allowed to swat. Oh, you are. And no, Beckman is homing in on that uh, flag runner, but Dardigar immediately beats him out. A new rule uh, in recent years is that the uh, Seekers are not allowed to swat the dodgeballs. So. All right, that's a team mayor now with the quad ball. Launches it, but, and it's recovered by, I think, Skura? That is indeed yeah. Skura. Oh, oh, that Middlebury connection right there. Middlebury to Middlebury. Skura to Bennington. Oh, but a quick, fast break. Tyler Ortiz, like, I think. Oh, that was a that was neck. A little over the it shoulder. looked like it. It looked like it. Maybe not the neck. So. Ball. Lots of action happening over by the flag runner. Yes, the Lost Boys tried to sneak up behind that action, and it almost worked. Great job by the flag Ooh. runner staying on their feet under all this pressure. Good. A lot of alone time, though. All right. Skura trying to weave through and, and does. That's a goal for Austin. Riley Boston. having that Team USA pairing of beaters on the flag runner. They need that. Simpson with the quad ball. Ooh. Oh, oh! Max with the catch. Beautiful. I love watching Max Portillo catch dodgeballs. It's fun. No, it was Max Havlin oh, caught it. Sorry. Yes. It was. That's also fun to be playing. Okay, I think Max Havlin just beat everyone on the Lost that, Boys there. Yeah, yep, sure did. <laughs> so as a chaser there, when your beater just knocks everyone out, you love that. Yeah. You got all the glory, but it really was set up by the by the beater a there. chaser recognizing the beater's accomplishments. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Okay, so we have... What was it at 20? 100 to 70. I scored. Right after 20. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we're just fixing the score here. Oh, it was the one that. Okay. okay. That, that Havlin one that that the head ref is clearing it. So. Somebody hand my water bottle. It says, throw bread on me. <laughs> <laughs> Stay hydrated out there, folks. It's warm and sunny. So make sure you're drinking your water. Yes, that's tomorrow at 10 uh, 50 a.m. on pitch two. You can catch the alumni game. Both Liz and I will be playing in that. Oh, I will say the VIP Mingonadas this year are pretty excellent. Oh. A little sweet for my for my taste. This is a man who doesn't eat dessert, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting... All right, so the score, I believe, is 110 to 100. 11 to 100. Oh, to 100, yeah. Lost Boys. We've cleared that up. So now it's very important whoever catches that flag runner... 35 points there to the, towards the set score is
Malloy beat out. Max Hadlin just locking down this flag runner, not letting anybody yeah. get lost near it. The um Ooh. was beat but had immunity, so he's gonna go get that dodgeball. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. They're calling it. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Um, I was going to just mention that the Boston Black Panda beaters are just really good at creating a shield around the flag runner. So it's been very difficult for the Lost Boys seeker to get close to have an opportunity to catch the flag runner. So it's been pretty much all Boston Black Panda. Panda's having a chance to catch a flag runner right now. Mm -hmm. And now with the Lost Boys Seeker in the box, there's going to be a lot of time for the Panda's Seeker to try and catch. All right, that's Athena Mayer again with the quad ball. Looking for something, passes it off to Skura. Skura off to number 10, Emily Frollo. Also looking, looking, looking. Oh, we may have a catch here. We may have a catch by Boston Pandas. What's the score? It is 12 11. All right, so it was 120 to 100 Lost Boys, but if this catch is called good, Boston would now have 135 points to Lost Boys. 100. 120 and the set score is 160 so now it's 135 to 120 Boston set score 160 so Boston needs three goals and Lost Boys need four goals uh, I love I love a tight game down down to the wire Let's go. All right, Skura. Skura's looking to widen that lead, I think. And, and does. So now that was one of the three goals that Boston yeah. needs. Boston so needs two, more. two more and Lost Boys need four more. Uh, dodgeball's everywhere. Okay, Quint. Like, you know what? What but they have on one. Okay, slows it up now. Yeah. Yep. Oh, pass too high. This is so hard. Like, this is the time when you cannot let the pressure get to you. And collected. The three seeds. All right, that's Benningson, I think, again with the quad ball. It is. Driving in now is number two. All right. Another goal. Boston looking to put this game away. I think Boston just needs one more, I think. Tessa Mullins on that dodgeball. There are 20 people on our team. There are 18 brain cells, and they put the two people without a little. <laughs> Is it 120? Uh, 120, 140. Well, what? No, no, no. I think no. it's 150, 150 right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Because yeah, I have 12 goals and the cash. So 155. All right, so the Boston Pandas have. 155 right now with a set score of 160. So they just need one more goal. And there's a lost boy in the box. Not the time to go down. On the What's that score? 160 is set score. Okay, so the lost boys, if they want to stay in this game, are going to need to stop the panda's possession right now. On no dodgeballs. And, and that's a goal. Beautiful. So it yep, so that's good confirmed good. From yeah, so Boston's uh, flag runner on pitch play was locked if down. If I'm gonna have an MVP on this game, it's gonna be two of them and it's gonna be uh Lulu and it's gonna be Max Hadley because not letting the lost boys get that snitch runner completely swung this game. Yes. 35 points was uh, in Boston's favor and not Lost Boys' favor was enough to swing the momentum. Uh, and then Boston just pulled ahead from there. But a great game to watch. 
Justin. Always a pleasure. All right. Thank you for listening. Bye.